This is the EOS calculator and I have opened it up to show you the insides and show you how the mechanism works. It is identical to the Hanovera CK and it uses an oscillating tooth segment mechanism somewhat similar to the Demos but a bit more advanced because it can do subtraction just by turning the crank in the opposite direction just like a pinwheel calculator. Let me show you how it works. I'll enter some numbers. There's a yeah, each of these input pins controls an, a tooth segment. And when you turn the crank, that gets added to the register. Yeah, the register moves moves forward to uh, to engage with the uh, toothed segments, and uh, yeah, let me do that again. I'll I'll now switch this, pull out this knob so that the input stays where it is, it doesn't clear it. Here you see the uh, the carry mechanism. There are these uh, uh, switches here that get triggered. At the moment, you see these these two switches are still engaged, but th those get cleared uh, as soon as you turn the crank a bit. Those were from the previous turn, so as soon as the register moves forward to en to engage with the uh, input, the uh, carry switches are all cleared and now these these input uh, tooth segments will oscillate they will turn forward to turn the uh, yeah to turn the digits now the register moves backwards and yeah this now engages with this uh, carry drum and uh, yeah any uh, carry switch that was tripped will now be triggered to uh, yeah, execute the carry by adding it to the next digit. Let me do that again. First it's cleared, then you add the uh, digits. Two of the switches have been tripped because two of these digits um, rolled, rolled over uh, past nine. And yeah, now the carry drum rolls past these switches to execute the uh, yeah the carry. On this drum, you have these this row of of uh, knobs, this uh, he helical row, this spiral that causes the carries to be performed from right to left. When you're doing subtraction, it's very much the same thing, but yeah, you turn the crank the opposite direction. These knobs that were triggering the uh, carries for the addition, those now get ignored because, yeah, they they just uh, get skipped. The register moves forward. The uh, carry switches are cleared. The addition is done, some of the carry switches are triggered, and now you get this, this row of uh, pins that uh, cycle in the opposite direction. So again, the carries will be performed from right to left. But uh, yeah, this time there's, yeah, they go in the opposite direction. Let me do that again. And in the forward direction.
So there you go. Let me also show you the oscillating uh, part. So uh, I've moved the uh, input further to the left. So now you can see that this bar moves up and down to uh, yeah to perform the uh, the actual addition. The counter mechanism is very simple. There are just these wheels that uh, are free to turn apart from this uh, alignment uh, spring. And you can clear it by turning this, this knob here and that just, um, yeah, that just uh, turns them until this uh, gap in these teeth here on this gear until that's on the bottom and then uh, yeah then they disengage from the clearing the uh, the counter is incremented by a small wheel that's on this axle here and that moves with the input and that axle is driven on this side through this arm that's connected to the uh, the main uh, crank axle. So when you turn the crank this moves in one direction and the counter moves in the opposite direction. When you push this in the uh, the input will be cleared when uh, when you turn the crank. You can actually feel that when when it does the addition at this point, you hear these clicks, and that's sim simply that the uh, input pins are moved forward rather than just uh, shifted forward. They they actually move past the uh, alignment mechanism that you normally have when you set them. Now the uh, the clicking that you hear here, here now, that's that's what you hear when you uh, turn the crank. In that case, to clear the main register, you turn this knob, and when you do that, this whole section moves backwards to disengage. So all the carry um, switches have disengaged. And uh, yeah, all this movement of the uh, this oscillating mechanism is controlled through these uh, yeah these large uh, cam wheels uh, on the side. So this cam wheel here, uh, that moves this toothed uh, segment, which in turn rotates this wheel, which in turn rotates the axle that these uh, input pins are on. Whereas uh, this cam, that actually uh, causes the main register to move forward to connect or disconnect. So that was the EOS calculator, the uh, insides, the mechanism of it. Thank you for watching.